All right, it is vlog number, find out, 14. Looking like a great day. Um, just finished my workout, so um, that's why I look like this. Anyway, so three things I wanted to talk about is R. Is it three things I want to talk about? R. Yeah, it's R. Um, three things I want to talk about is, is the things I want to talk about are um, one is lifestyle, like um, your theme for the day and the kind of like the, the lifestyle you want to set forth for the day, set the tone um, for the day. And <clears throat> I believe you have to take inventory of the, the current beliefs that you have and are they a result of like programming meaning coming from society or coming from culture coming from religion coming from parents or family or is this something that you have created on your own and it is true for you um and you've incorporated into your life. So what that means is if I have a belief that everything works out for me, if if I believe that whatever happens in my life whether I label it as good or bad, at the end of the day it'll it'll be good for me. Uh is that something I created or is that something that was passed on to me? Was this something that was um programmed in me from something else outside of myself, something external. And if it's good, well, great, right? If it's productive, if it's um, advantageous for you to have that belief, well, then great. Um, It's kind of like a, just a perk. But if, um, if um, it's something that's not, and I think what you, how you can determine that, at least how that's how I determine is, is, is the belief evolving? Is it moving me forward? Is it empowering me? Is it empowering others? Is it uh, positive? It's, if, is it creating a better future for myself, for my community, and for this earth? Um, and if so, then I think it's a good belief. And, it's, and if it's been passed down to you, well, great. If it's, if, it, if, if it's something you need to implement in your life, then, then it's, it's something you have to program, and it does take time. So... Um, yeah, just take inventory of those beliefs. And um, in one of the, the books that I'm reading said, is it a result of auto-hypnotic early programming? Um, and if it is, then you got to decide if it's a good belief or not. That's ultimately up to you. Okay. Um, looks like I have still this circle around my eye because I was swimming and I had goggles on. All right, so number two is something video related. Um, I was I, I like to watch other videographers, other producers, because I like to see what they do and how they storytell. Because at the end of the day, that's really what we do. We storytell. I know that put, I, I actually preach that, preach that a lot, and I really believe it. So, um, what did I say here? What did I say here? Watching others. Oh, so like if you really like somebody if you're like wow I like what they're doing it's really cool it's really cutting edge like really really what what they're doing resonates with you then take that digest that and then it's not like you can't create something similar and and it's not like copying what you're doing is you're taking it digesting it and creating it with your spin on it with with your unique perspective with your unique unique talents uh don't copy but just take digest and take the good from it. I mean, that's what we all do. I mean, you see, you see stuff, and you're like, "I like that." And then there's some things you might change about it, and that's okay. Uh, everybody has like their unique perspective on life, on stories, on little, um, you know, little uh, experiences. And so it's okay to have a difference. And it's I think that's what makes life interesting. Because if you don't, then you know, uh, you're not doing anyone a favor because by not creating something with your unique talents and perspective, 
uh, you actually, I think you actually take away from adding to the world. As long as you're not doing anything that's harming other people, then I think, I think you should definitely, um, you know, do that. So t- watching other people, their videos, I like doing that because it gives me ideas based on what I see, see and what I, how I see the world and how I see stories and how I interpret people and, and their journeys. So that's, that's the, that's the cool thing about videography. Okay. Um, the third thing is, I can sometimes I can't even read my writing. Um, the third thing is every day, every project. Oh, okay. So like gratitude now, gratitude can, can definitely, you know, carry over into your work life. 100%. And so every day, every project, I give thanks. And just something I really started doing, to be honest. And it's it's really been beneficial. So every day, every project, I I take a moment and give thanks and say, for example, if it's a project for, for a property, how, if I create, if we create a successful video, this will positively positively impact the homeowner because for some reason they want to sell Two, it'll help the agent uh, multiple ways marketing as well as um, income right because they'll make some money off of it and that'll be great obviously directly to me as well because then they'll probably want to market some more and create more video content and um, and then obviously help our team right we create something that's special that's unique and then our team can continue to grow. We get more projects. Teammates get paid. They can then go home, feed their families, go on trips, do things that they need to do to express themselves. So a lot of times what I would do is like, how is this really affecting the world? And, and you almost devalue what it's doing by saying, oh, it's not like a video that's covering, you know, some sort of humanitarian aid um, event not saying that that's not important but you can still make every day every project you do have significance because you realize and you and you um you realize the significance that what you do today has on on people your team the people around you for me it's like my team will will make money um i'll be able to provide some um a way for the the home to story tell or the homeowner and the agent. So it's like, how could I not see that as a benefit? So anyway, that's what I'm taking with me. I suggest you do the same. Take whatever it is that you're doing currently and find the find where you're giving the value and realize that what you do totally affects people around you, including yourself. And that's important because everything you do is important. Uh, there's not like a small task and a big task. Now, they're categorized that way just because of efficiency, but in terms of like affecting, it totally 100% does. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to, to comment below. Uh, if you have questions, um, if there's anything I'm doing that, that you have a question about, feel free to ask. I will get back to you. And anyway, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.